I have my diaper bag, natural labor and delivery, two combs, chocolate covered almonds, oversized sweatshirt. I cannot wait to meet him. What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to share this video with you. I can't believe that I am sharing my own hospital bag with you. I have watched so many of these videos way before I was pregnant. I don't know why, I just find pregnancy and labor and delivery and babies and everything very intriguing and exciting. And so it's so surreal to have my own video. I keep just pinching myself thinking, is this my real life? Am I really pregnant? Am I really 37 weeks and about to have a baby? What? What? I first wanted to share a couple of things that I feel like are unique to my personal hospital bag. We are hoping for a natural labor and delivery and so a couple of things I've packed specifically to help me naturally get through contractions or waves or surges, if you will. So I wanted to share those with you first since they are a little bit more unique and maybe that would be fun for you guys to see. I don't know, maybe not. The first thing is combs. So I'm bringing two combs, which might be very strange to some of you, but we have been learning a lot about acupressure and how there are different points in your body that can help you be distracted or can actually relieve certain pain that is happening in different parts of your body. So with two combs, you actually just hold them in your palms like this with your fingers on the teeth. Is that what you call them? You put your thumbs on the teeth of the comb and when your contractions or waves come, you simply press down so that it's pressing into your palms. And this is supposed to help with contractions. The other thing is definitely not as unique. I've seen a lot of people bring this, but I have this little bag that says yay. And I told Jake, if I say to get the yay bag, that means I need something else. I'm in labor. In this bag, we just have some essential oils. In my birth center, we're not actually allowed to diffuse any of the oils. We can't bring a diffuser. And the midwives and doctors said that it is not good for you to put them topically on you because when the baby comes out, the first thing that he or she will want to do is to breastfeed and these can take away from the scent of your colostrum. So I am simply just going to take the lid off and smell it like so. I love essential oils. I feel like you either love them or hate them. I am bringing the ones that were recommended for me, which is peppermint, clove, and then lavender. I'm definitely gonna be using these. Another kind of unique thing that I am bringing is just this little massage guy. In our birthing class, we actually learned, which I think is so cool, so I'm gonna share, but there are different points on your feet. One of them being if you're not dilating quite as quickly as you would like, then you put pressure into the sole of your foot and it helps things kind of move along. I am gonna bring this just in case I need something that's a little more deep or if Jake's hands get tired, we've been learning a lot about the different breathing techniques and how Jake can apply pressure to the different points on my body to relieve pain. Just a fun fact about our hospital, there is a birthing tub that I plan to use. Honestly, I think that it will just be a vibe. We're gonna do this, it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna meet our son, I'm so excited. If I do choose to get in the tub or if I get hot or something, I have a little scrunchie and then a little hair cloth that will probably be beneficial. I am bringing a couple of nursing bras. Don't know if I'll be wearing them, but you know whatever i'm bringing my cozy earth pajama set guys this is so soft it's temperature regulating i'll probably just wear the top and just be in the hospital gown the rest of the time and then i did bring this big oversized sweatshirt with the pants and i just plan on being very very comfortable because obviously gonna have just had given birth 
Then I have an outfit for Jake packed. I don't know about hospitals around, but our hospital, you nor your partner are allowed to leave the hospital until you leave to go home. We just wanted to have a couple of snacks to bring. We'll obviously probably just have the hospital food or have stuff delivered in. When you are doing something as hard as labor, it's really, really good to replenish your body with very good electrolytes. So I was gonna get some coconut water because if you didn't know, it's very high in electrolytes and very good for you, but it's very expensive. You would also think that living in Hawaii would make coconut water cheaper. But anyway, I was gonna get a simple bottle and it was like $9 and I was not, not gonna spend $9 on that. So. I got these body armors instead. The base is coconut water. I totally would have just rather had coconut water. I packed several in our little hospital suite. They have a little mini fridge, so it'll be nice to be able to put these snacks in the fridge and have these drinks cold. I love RX bars. I'm obsessed with them. I really trust their ingredients, but I saw these at Target, which is their Good and Gather brand and I have the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor and then the pumpkin pie flavor. And they are the same ingredients and they were like half the price of the RX bars. I've tried both now and I can confirm that they are delicious. I also got these chocolate covered almonds. I've been so tempted to open these up and I'm like, okay, that's my reward for labor, okay. Our hospital is an hour plus away. So we will have quite a long drive before my birth plan was to labor at home for as long as I could and then to go to the hospital. But with this circumstance, we are going to go to the hospital a lot sooner, obviously. I feel like I will have time to pack some fruit and veggies. I have some apples and some carrots and hummus that I want obviously cold. And then I just have like your typical toiletries. I have everything packaged because I just didn't want to be in a rush going, okay, we need our toothbrush, we need our toothpaste. So everything's just all here. Deodorant, toothpaste, Jake's deodorant, face wash, all that kind of stuff. Then I'm just bringing a six foot phone charger. I have this big fluffy blanket, just a little piece of home. I know that the hospitals get really cold, so whether I use this or Jake uses it for his blanket, not sure, but we wanted to bring that. Capstick because I hear your lips get real chapped. I am still waiting for my pump to come, and I heard that it's really beneficial for you to bring that so that they can kind of teach you what to do. I have the Haka, but obviously that's pretty self-explanatory. I know that all the postpartum stuff they will give me at the hospital. My doctor said don't pack any of that, don't buy any of that. It's just excessive. We provide it all. So of course, if I need any of that later, then I can run to the store or probably have Jake run to the store and get that stuff. I am bringing my Canon camera to take pictures. I'm bringing my vlog camera, my tripod. For baby boy, I have my diaper bag which can we just appreciate how beautiful this is i'm obsessed with it it's real leather ah the smell of that just nothing compares anyway i'm just leaving everything for him in here and there's honestly not a lot because the hospital provides everything apparently and so i'm just not going to bring stuff because i'm a very minimal packer at least i think and so i'm not going to bring much a couple of binkies and then his hospital outfit, which you're just gonna have to stay tuned to see what's in there. I do have this diaper balm that I'm bringing just because I wanna make sure everything that is going on to him is very clean and natural. So this is just from Earth Mama. And then I'm also bringing my own nipple butter, which is also from Earth Mama. Then I just have stuff that I'm having Jake pack right before we leave or maybe myself depending on how i'm feeling and that's just our wedding ring since we live in hawaii we don't really wear our rings that much because we're just always at the beach so i want to make sure we have our wedding rings which might sound weird but i just want to make sure we have those and then my makeup bag in case i want to freshen up who knows but i think that that's it i'm sure i'm forgetting something it's like when you go on a trip and you are at the airport and you're like, what did I forget? What did I forget? I know I forgot something. 
Oh well, I hope that this video gave you a couple of little ideas of what you might want to pack or bring to the hospital. And if not, then I hope it was just entertaining for you. I really appreciate all of your guys' support. Who knows, maybe my next video will be meeting our little one. Oh my gosh. I really could have this baby any day. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to meet him. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video that might be with another little human.